$56,520 for Social Security retirement in 2023. The very important limit you need to know about. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I'm specifically talking about Social Security retirement benefits in 2023 and the very important limit you need to understand because if this limit is exceeded, your benefits will be garnished. So let's get into it and talk about what this $56,000 $520 means and how it pertains to Social Security retirement beneficiaries. Let's get right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. It's totally free to do so and I am your one and only daily advocate. I'm doing all the research and watching all this new information hitting the wire each and every day. The updates, the announcements, the reports, and everything else breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what is actually going on right now with all the latest updates and this new information. And most importantly, I want you to know how this is going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account. And of course, I also want to point out anything out there right now that you may be able to grab and or take advantage of, including money, benefits, checks, raises to benefits, programs, stimulus, anything else like that. I want to break it down for you in these short videos. So again, thanks so much for joining me. I am here for you in any way that I possibly can be. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And as always, I'm sticking to to it. So again, please subscribe down below and let's get into it and talk about this very important limit you need to know for Social Security retirement benefits in 2023. So as of recently, the Social Security Administration has been coming out with a bunch of new updates and limits for 2023 as they usually do update all of these limits every single year. Well, we're in the time of year right now where they are updating all of these dollar amounts and that's what I want to bring to your attention. So as of recently, I've been out with a lot of different videos dropping all this information and breaking it all down for you because these are very important numbers that we all need to understand. Well, in this video, we're specifically talking about Social Security retirement benefits. So I wanna make that very clear. This does not pertain to SSDI or SSI, things like that. This is only Social Security retirees. So there's a very important number here, $56,520. That's what I wanna focus on. So I'm gonna try to break this down in break uh, into simple, uh, easy to understand numbers and explanations, things like that. So stick with me. If you do have any questions about this, please leave them down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them and or come back and make another dedicated video. All right, so here's what it comes down to. If you're somebody who is going to be re uh, reaching your full retirement age in 2023, this pertains to you. All right, so here's what it comes down to. If you're going to be reaching your FRA in 2023, and again, this could be happening in February, it could be happening in uh, July, it could happen in September, December, doesn't really matter. Here's what it comes down to. If you're going to reach uh, reach your full retirement age, which by the way, if you're not sure with what your full retirement age is, I do have other videos talking about that, but essentially it's either 66, 66 and two months, 66 and four months, all the way up to the age of 67. So uh, we can talk about that in a separate video, but you need to know what your full retirement age is. But either way, if you feel like you're going to be reaching it this year in 2020, then you probably want to pay attention to this. So here's the limit that Social Security has imposed. You can earn up to $56,520 prior to you when you actually reach your full retirement age, okay? So your earnings up to that uh, time frame, so up to the exact day when you reach your full retirement age, you can earn up to $56,520 without any penalty of any kind. However, if you earn more than that limit by the time that you hit your full retirement age, guess what? Your benefits will be garnished by $1 for every $3 that you earn over that limit, okay? That's what you gotta understand about this because we never ever want our benefits to be garnished. And unfortunately, in this case, if you earn over that limit as in earned income. So for example, let's just say that you're still working right now and you're going to be reaching your full retirement age, let's just say in October, okay? Well, that's fine, but here's the deal. Between January and October, you can only earn up to $56,520 without garnishment. You can certainly earn more than that if you'd like to, but the problem is, you're gonna face some garnishments on your benefits. They're going to take away $1 for every $3 that you earn over that limit. So I've talked about this in previous videos. 
if you earn over the limits substantially, you may be working for a pretty discounted uh, income at that point, right? Because they're essentially going to be uh, removing $1 of your benefit for every three that you earn over that limit. So I just wanna bring that to your attention. This is very important to understand. Now, this is for only those people that are reaching their full retirement age in 2023. If you're going into 2023 and you're already beyond your full retirement age, you're fine. You have nothing to worry about. Nothing about this pertains to you. If you're somebody who is currently full retirement age in, say, 2022, and you're sailing into 2023 already at your full retirement age, you've got nothing to worry about. You can earn as much as you want. You can earn $0. You can earn $5,000. You can earn $50,000. You can earn $200,000 if you want. It does not matter provided you are already full retirement age as you enter in to 2023. This is just for the people that are uh, entering into their full retirement age in 2023, in the calendar year of 2023. You can see here, Social Security is a very complicated topic. I mean, seriously, there's a lot of different provisions. It's all for the people that are uh, claiming benefits prior to their, their full retirement age, people that are hitting full retirement age in 2023, people that are already at full retirement age in 2023, and then we've got SSDI benefits on top of it, survivors, SSI. We've got all kinds of other earnings limits. We've got all kinds of things. So seriously, there's a lot of different numbers. There's a lot of different categories that people fall into, but this is the new update information as of 2023 that the Social Security Administration recently announced. We've got to know these numbers because it would be sad if all of a sudden you thought, I'm going to work as much as I can. I'm going to earn as much as I possibly can before I hit my full retirement age, which again, that's awesome. Seriously, congratulations. If you want to do that, by all means, you got to do what's best for you. But at the end of the day, just recognize if you earn over the limit $56,520 prior to when you hit your full retirement age, you're gonna have to say goodbye to some of your benefits, okay? <laughs> it's not a good thing, right? We wanna maximize income, maximize earnings from your benefit, maximize your earned income, all kinds of things like this. That's totally cool. No problem with that at all. But just keep that number in mind, okay? So here's what I would suggest. Of course, I don't know your situation. Everybody's situation is different. I cannot advise you on what to do. I'm not here to tell you to go out and work a ton. I'm not here to tell you to not work at all. I'm not here to tell you that you should claim your benefits early or to claim them late. I'm not here to tell you anything on what to do. I'm simply laying out this, uh, these limits for you because this is very important to understand. If you need further clarification on this, please feel free to leave a comment or a question down below and I'll do my best to read all the comments and answer them and or come back and make another dedicated video. Otherwise, I would suggest this much. Call the Social Security Administration, connect with an agent and tell them your situation. Hey, my plan is blank. I plan on earning this. I plan on doing that. I'm going to be hitting my full retirement age this time and play, lay out the plan for them. They will help you better strategize and they will help you get the best information to, to figure out what you need to do and or what you might need to avoid to make sure that your benefits are not being garnished in 2023 uh, going forward, right? So anyway, I just want to lay that out for you. Again, everybody's situation is very different. This may pertain to some people. This may not pertain to others. Again, that's why I can't really tell you what to do because it's very specific to each and every individual uh, person's situation. And there's going to be a lot of people that watch this video. So as a result of that, <laughs> I can't just give like a blanket statement right now and say, do this, do that. No, I can't do that at all, right? Because it's going to be different for everybody. But the ultimate most important thing to know is if you're going to hit your full retirement age in 2023, you can earn up to that 56520 prior to that date. And uh, if you earn over that, just remember, $1 out of every three that you've earned over that limit will be taken away from you, okay? In the form of reduction to your benefit. That's what it comes out to. If they don't go into your paycheck and take it away from you, <laughs> that's not how it works, okay? They take it away in the form of sending you less benefits, okay? So let's just say that you're going to receive a $1,000 benefit, for example. If you earned over the limit, they may garnish, let's just say you earned over the limit, you know, however much, and you are subject to garnishment of say, $300, your benefit rather than being $1,000 would be $700, right? So that's what it would actually turn out to be. So hope this kind of clarifies a little bit further. Again, there's a lot of moving parts here. There's a lot of different situations here. And there's a lot of different things that are being announced by Social Security and all these updated limits. These limits are updated every single year. So therefore, we always get to come back at the end of the year after Social Security announces all these and break it all down so let you know what the new limits are and what you got to be aware of. Anyway, hope this one helps you out. Again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet share the video with your friends family social media and go back and check out any of the other thousands
thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. And of course, feel free to call the Social Security Administration if you feel that this pertains to you. Otherwise, if you need further clarification, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to read them, answer them for you, and or come back with a dedicated video. All right, hope this one helps you out. Enjoy your day. Until next time, have a good one and I'll catch you again later in the next video.